It's funny because you're you're such an interesting uh, character, and like and, and and you seem atypical of of, of what one might assume from a, from an NFL. Yeah, well, that, well, that's the thing is that a lot of people have this assumption of NFL players as kind of knuckle dragging troglodytes because you really only hear about the bad players. You know, those right. are the guys who make the news. And there's a lot of very smart NFL players in the locker room. You know, I've had lots of great conversations, but you don't hear about them because they take care of business and then they go home. And right. Who wants to report on that? That's, it's not fun. It doesn't make right, for a great story. Right. It doesn't make for a good story. And so, you know, I, th I think what everyone saw with me was that all of a sudden it's like, oh, the, the swearing they can latch onto, and then, you know, and then the human rights stuff. And, and I guess you generally don't, you know, you don't hear about that in the news. And I feel as role models, you know, we should be good role models, not bad role models. That's terrific. Well, the other thing is that it's that you yourself uh, are are not gay, and it's not yep. like anyone. You don't have any family member. This is something you took on as just this is a this mm. is a human rights issue. Right, right. To me, this is a smaller subset of human rights as a whole. And the thing is, is that societies that don't practice empathy, if you look at the historical record, every single civilization has failed. And they've they've all gone down. Whether it's conflict from within by oppressing your own people, or conflict from without trying to pick a fight with someone and eventually losing. And really, the root cause of that is not being able to put yourself in someone else's shoes. Right. And it's, it's empathy. It's treat other people the way you'd like to be treated. And I'm seeing that a lot in our society, and I would prefer that we don't go down the drain, and instead we endure as a civilization. Wow. <laughs> no. I disagree. <laughs> You're wrong. Yeah. I'm going to take the opposing viewpoint. Uh, <laughs> Devil's advocate, go for yeah, it. Yeah, I think it's, I think we've, America's had a good run. Yeah. It's time to go. Uh, yeah, you know, we, we had a good couple years. I want to talk about you personally because I found this really fascinating. You were a, uh, you're quite an avid online gamer. We were yes. actually talking about this a little bit b before the show. Mm -hmm. And um, you've ranked third, like, nationally <laughs> in dungeon progression. I yeah. don't even know what that is. Yeah. So I'm about to nerd everyone out here, which will be amazing. I'm, I'm sure most of the audience will probably get it. So I played World of Warcraft for a very long time, and um, I was in a raiding guild. And in raiding, the goal of dungeon progression is to defeat the bosses. It's kind of like solving a puzzle. Each boss has different mechanics. Right. And uh, I was in a hardcore raiding guild, which meant we took it very, very seriously. <laughs> and, and so at one point, we were third in the United States in terms of raiding progression, which meant we stayed up very late at night and kept pounding our heads against these bosses over and over until we beat them. That's incredible. So it's, it's, it's amazing because you're a player in the NFL, but you're, it seems like your true dream, what you're most proud of, is that you've rated third nationally <laughs> in dungeon progression. Yeah. Yeah. I've done it! You know? yeah. Yeah. Well, and, and the really funny part is that is the only time in my life I've actually dropped the, hey, I'm an NFL player card, was right. when I applied to the rating guild and I really wanted to get in. So I said, I'm in the NFL, let me in. <laughs> And they're like, oh my god, an NFL player is playing, so let's let him in. Now, what I want to ask you, you also play with tabletop miniatures. Yes. I don't even know what that is. Uh, yeah, so tabletop miniatures, they're the little plastic computer figurines. They're about yay high, and uh, you, you put them together, and then you paint them, and then you put them on the, the tabletop and face off against someone else. So your general's commanding your armies, and you know, it, it's awesome. It's wait, wait. <laughs> face off how? You do, you throw them at each other? <laughs> no, no, it's, it's uh, you it's, have dice. You oh, it's dice. like chess right, or something right, yeah, like, like that. Yeah, like chess. Like kind of chess and risk combined and you know each one has their different stats and you roll dice you're going to levels of nerd i've never approached <laughs> it's uh <laughs> i admire this football is how i fund my nerdy hobbies uh <laughs> i have to ask you quickly uh at least two currently active pro athletes uh have come out since mm -hmm. your letter do you feel like there's a shift obviously nationally there's a shift but you're you you feel like in the in the nfl there's like a there's a shift in sports in general yeah i do i do i think it's a sign of society as a whole uh really just moving towards more tolerance and more acceptance Acceptance. And the NFL is a young man's game. You know, it's, it's guys coming in from college. They're 21, 22. And so as each year progresses, you see the younger and younger generations coming up through the ranks. And these guys have been raised with gay teammates, with gay family members, with gay friends. And to them, it's not a big deal. They're, they're like, what is the issue here? We should be more worried about the economy or the yes. wars that we're still They have still a different in. perspective. Right. Yeah, it's, it's gay marriage. Who cares about that? What, what do I care if someone else does with their life when I'm free to do what I want with my life? Right. And, and so you're, you're really starting to see that, that progression. Well, that's a hopeful message. Yeah, I know. It's, it's good. And the old people die off and the young people take over. <laughs> Yep. There are some no, no old people. There's some here that are like, I didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know who I am. Yep. Like, Who's that awful host? Uh, 